hi everyone so uh, let's start learning about salesforce so uh, salesforce is a platform or a web application that provides a uh, software as a service to companies to build ready-made applications so they provide ready-made applications which can be easily customized and very quick to adapt so uh, they don't have a lot of uh, loads of app uh, development or any kind of uh, prerequisites in order to start their business okay so there are lots of small medium and uh, large scale businesses which need applications to manage their business in order to manage their sales their customer service their marketing part so salesforce provides ready-made applications for uh, these departments so that they as soon as they have the idea of the business they can just contact salesforce and get the application and get running okay so uh, let's take a look at the structure of how salesforce is structured uh, how does it provide the application then we are going to take a look deep into the salesforce orgs so we are also going to see uh, how do we sign up for a salesforce free developer orgs so that we can learn on it and also salesforce is a, a low code environment low code to no code environment where you don't need to write a lot of code or uh, it's very very uh, less if you need to start with an it job okay so if you're looking for to get into an it industry if you are from a non-technical uh, background non-it technical background okay then it's easier for you to ad adapt to salesforce and then without uh, learning a lot of code initially you can start using salesforce and uh, learn okay and grow in this technology okay so if you're looking for a rewarding it career then you can start with salesforce and you're looking for a platform to start with you can go for salesforce okay and salesforce also provides lots and lots of free open source materials which you can uh, leverage to uh, build your uh, knowledge okay all right uh, let's get started so this is what a salesforce org looks like so even the companies who adapt salesforce they also get similar kind of org but the complexity is a little higher because they it's it's a real time org okay where there will be real users the real accounts real contacts all the data will be real okay and this is just a playground where or you can call it as a sandbox it's actually called as a sandbox which is a playground so that we can test it we can develop code we can we can uh, develop different functionalities provided by salesforce okay we can play around and we can learn from it okay once we are uh, we are we are experienced in it then we can go ahead and adapt the same thing or put the same uh, development in the real time org as well okay so uh, sandbox is a playground so salesforce provides free access to uh, lifetime access to such playgrounds okay so you can easily sign up and you can uh, get your own account okay all right so let's take a look uh, how salesforce org is structured so the very primary thing is uh, a salesforce org okay so the first thing is a salesforce org so what's an org org is like a user account okay or uh, you can you can call it as a company account okay so it's related to the company uh, for example if i purchase if i'm if i'm a small business i own a small business uh, so i'm looking for a license from salesforce so salesforce will provide me with an org <coughs> sorry with a uh, org license okay so org is like the whole environment that is provided by salesforce for me to get my business data to develop uh, the applications to customize the applications so it is the access to the environment the whole salesforce environment okay that's termed as an org so org is related to a username and password and password okay so 
there can be multiple users as of now we can assume that uh, I, am, I am the only user and the, I have a username and password provided by Salesforce for this particular org okay now so this whole thing is an org this is a whole Salesforce org so under the Salesforce org you can have multiple applications okay so here we can have multiple applications so we can denote it by uh, maybe multiple tabs as of now so under salesforce we can have multiple applications so these applications could be related to uh, maybe sales team or it could be related to customer service or marketing team so there could be different applications for different department okay and whatever extra uh, also if you want uh, let's say some some companies also need inventory management called erp management systems okay so you can have erp systems as well so all of them can be like a separate application so if if you go to a play store and a google play store or apple play store you can download different applications for different purpose right to manage your bank account or to manage your uh, social media accounts so similar to that you uh, salesforce provides with multiple applications dealing with different departments to run your small business or a medium sized business is specifically designed it's uh, for small and medium sized business it can also be very easily adapted by uh, large scale businesses okay all right so moving ahead let's say if i have a sales applications okay so uh, under the sales application or customer service or any of the application i will be uh, having access to different different objects okay so these objects are like different tables okay so these tables are the place where we are actually going to save the data okay so under the sales application we will have different uh, tables or as of now you can call it as tables just to uh, keep it simple okay I, actually they are referred as a salesforce objects okay so let's say as of now you can ignore these applications okay and we are going to talk only about the sales application okay so under the sales application i will be having multiple objects so i'll have the core objects which salesforce provides is so there are opportunities and there are accounts there are contacts there are leads so these are some of the core objects provided by salesforce so uh, under op opportunities it will be like a table where you will have rows and you will have columns okay so why do we need these rows and columns in order to save our data so these data could be related to uh, let's say if i want to save an a contact data so contact will have its own table okay so contact will have its own table so where it will have columns like name phone number email and uh, maybe mobile number etc etc okay so there are different different types of uh, there are a lot of tables that are already been created so this is like the back end of the salesforce so this is the data model of the salesforce so it will be similar to tables where you can have multiple fields where you can save the data so if you want to customize it you can also create your own fields you can also create your own columns with your own data type let's say if you want to have uh, a drop down or a pick list okay so you can create that very easily that we will be seeing uh, in the near future okay all right so under the applications under each applications we will have multiple tables or multiple objects where the users can save the data okay now under these objects we will have multiple fields okay so there will be multiple fields which will be storing different kind of data maybe name phone number email etc etc okay so these will be different fields so fields are like the uh, very minute data entry point where you can save some data okay now a collection of fields is a table or an object and collection of objects is an application and collection of application is your salesforce org okay all right let's take a look in the real time salesforce uh, my playground or my salesforce sandbox okay let's let's take a look what what it looks like so this whole org if you see the url from here to here from uh, this point to the to the starting okay this is my org url 
okay or my domain all right so all the applications that uh, salesforce provides will be for me for my company it will be under this particular url okay all right now let's see how to, how we can access different applications that salesforce provides so uh, salesforce provides uh, out of box functionalities out of box applications also if we want in future if, if we want to customize it or if we, if you want something uh, of our own if you want to create something from the scratch if you want to create the application from the scratch we can also do that okay all right so uh, if we see this ellipsis button on the top left so we can click on this and from here we can easily access the applications so if you see we have apps different apps provided by salesforce so uh, there could be service apps marketing app community app or there, there are sales related applications there are service related applications okay if you want to see all of them we can see all of them okay so it could be uh, either out of box applications that are provided by salesforce or it could be something that uh, i have created or my company has created okay my developers might have created something okay for their own uh, for company related use so we have out of box sales application marketing related to app, uh, related application service community okay so there are different applications which are the core business functionalities uh, which which provide okay so the business actually starts with marketing so if you have a product then you are putting it out in the market you are advertising you're spending money on advertising you're spending resources on that and you want to manage it you want to you cannot do everything in a register or uh, or a notebook notebook right so you need an application to uh, manage it so you need to see what all resources i have how much revenue is assigned uh, to that particular marketing campaign okay so you can manage all those parts from there so if you if you go to a marketing application so in the marketing application we will have objects related to the marketing application okay so we have campaigns we have leads contacts okay so these objects are related to specifically to the marketing application if you, if you see on the top left here we have a marketing application okay so these are different different uh, objects that are related to the marketing application so it's all starts with a campaign so campaign is used to generate lead campaigns are like ad advertising uh, campaigns which are uh, it, it could be a web campaign or it could also be a, a physical campaign where uh, some company set up kiosks on different uh, maybe shopping malls or some place out there in the market and uh, they advertise their product so people walk in and they showcase their products and try to get people interested in their product okay so as people uh, get interested in their business they are called as leads okay so the companies start generating leads using the campaign so if you go to campaign object so here we'll have uh, it will show you all the campaigns which are present so there are different campaigns and these are all uh, dummy data okay so these are not like real time data but this is just to uh, demonstrate all right so we'll have different campaigns so uh, so all the details related to the campaign i can i can uh, i can uh, update it here okay when was it started when did it end so if if you see there are different data fields if you want you can if the company wants they can customize it they can create their own fields so some companies have specific fields related to their own data okay some of them don't follow the same out uh, the same structure so all that data they can uh, save it okay so once campaign is successful they generate few leads so leads will have information related to the people who are interested in the uh, business so let's say if i see all the open leads so these will be basic contact information like their name phone number what company uh, they are related to their email all those information it will have okay so this is also a, a very basic table if you want to keep it simple so it's a table where you have uh, rows and columns so rows are as many records if you want to keep on adding so they will be rows and the columns are actually the fields okay the same thing if you open any of the lead so if you go to the detail tab here so the fields that you see so these are the columns like lead owner who is the owner of this lead what is the name of the lead mobile number phone number fax number email address all those basic information they have 
okay and what is the status of the lead that is also shown like it is just open and it's not been contacted so they have uh, so right now the status is it's uh, the sales rep are working on it and the lead has been contacted okay so it's not been closed that means it's not a success yet so they are still working on the lead okay so now once the lead is uh, is interested in our business they they give a, a green signal that they want some products from us then they will be qualified as a contact now then these contact and these leads will be converted to a contact actually so it has now it will be a more solid information so lead are just basic visiting card kind of information okay now contacts will have more solid information it will also have their account names account are the company who are actually uh, responsible for purchasing those products okay so contacts are just representatives of the companies and these companies are the accounts which are actually going to pay the company uh, pay pay my company to purchase certain products okay which i uh, put out in the market okay so once i generate leads and then leads are converted to contacts then the cycle starts so this is my marketing application where i get some basic uh, objects which can help me in my marketing uh, strategy and building my marketing strategy okay now once all this is done so uh, then the ball will be moving over to the sales team okay now the sales team will pick up these contacts and then they will try to uh, provide proper uh, quotations and uh, discounts and all those negotiation will start happening with the with the with the contacts so that we can get, generate more and more revenue uh, based on how much product we sell okay so now we go to the sales team so that's why i have switched to the sales application okay so all these applications are uh, are like ready made you don't so not even a single line of code you have to write so as soon as you purchase a license from salesforce you get out of box all these applications ready to use okay so if you have an idea for a business you can just uh, immediately contact salesforce and you get all these applications and you start running your business you don't need to wait for the development team or you don't need to set up a infrastructure any office and you have to set up a server room where you need some hardware nothing is required okay so there are no overheads at all with salesforce so all you need is a license as uh, just as as similar as a uh, uh, any social media license like any social media account you sign up and then you start using the uh, use, using a social media account right similar to that you sign up for a salesforce org and you get all these out of box applications which are uh, like top grade industry uh, standards which follow okay and then you can start your business and they have lot of uh, lot of functionalities built in which will which which will make your work more and more productive and it will help you to get more and more or generate more and more revenue okay to get more profit okay all right so we'll take a look uh, at all these features one by one all right so now once our uh, the ball is in our sales department court so sales application has uh, different objects which are related to sales and to manage the sales so once we have the contacts which are generated from the leads so those contacts are also present in the sales application so same contacts will be present here as well okay so the sales rep can pick up these contacts and they can contact uh, uh, they can try to reach to these people using the phone number and all those details that were entered by our sales representatives previously in the marketing team okay so once the campaign is successful we got the leads we got all this information so now these contacts will be uh, provided with different quotations related to our products okay and the contacts are actually the representatives uh, from different different companies okay if it's a business to business if it's not like a business to a customer if it's a business to business setup in that case we'll have account as the uh, companies Okay, and they will have representatives as their contacts okay so okay so contacts and accounts and uh, so ca campaign information will also be there so if in case if you want to remove that uh, uh, this uh, table campaign table from sales application you can easily do that so some some companies do not uh, provide all the information to their sales reps they want to uh, keep it uh, very minimal so that it the data cannot be misused okay 
so it can easily be customized so we have opportunities accounts contacts these are the core uh, uh, objects related to the sales application okay so these contacts will be sent with the quotations and all those information related to the product will be there in opportunity so the basic uh, the basic or the important uh, objects related to the sales application is opportunity account and contacts okay okay so uh, contacts uh, we have gone through accounts we know and accounts if you if you take a look again so accounts will have uh, information related to the company they are not just uh, related to the representative of the company okay so it will have proper address of the company it will have uh, let me let's take a look at an uh, account so if you see in the highlights panel we have some basic information about the account as of now these are not filled but uh, so industry is like what industry this particular company is related to and their website and the, uh, and and uh, what type of company it is so if you see in the related list so we the account is related to contacts which will which will be the like the representative of this company and we have some opportunities also related to it So opportunities are the ones where you will have product information like what product these this company is interested in which I am offering okay let's say I'm running a laptop company okay I manufacture laptops okay assembled laptops if I provide so uh, so the, the quotations all those information the product items all those information will be present in the opportunity okay so if you go to any shopping website and you try to add items to your cart so that is like an opportunity in this scenario okay so the quotations related to the products which i send uh, which which are requested by these companies then those information will be present in this opportunity okay so the opportunity will have information related to the revenue like how much amount is present how much amount is uh, invested in this and uh, the product items all those details will be provided so when when is the close date when is the starting date and what is the status of the opportunity so this is already in closed one that means we have already uh, won this opportunity that means this much revenue is already generated so we have sent the product we have already shipped the product to this particular company okay and we have their address information all those information will be presented okay so once the opportunity is actually closed one then my uh, deal is done okay that means i have sold the product but salesforce is actually a customer relationship management tool okay it's a crm that means relationship should be maintained to the comp uh, with the company so it helps uh, our uh, our business to maintain the relationship with our clients so maintaining relationship doesn't always mean that you have to always find new customers okay so you have to keep relationship or uh, keep maintaining the relationship with your existing customers as well so crm help with uh, help the businesses to generate new clients as well as maintain relationship with the existing clients okay so how do we maintain relationship with the existing clients is by pitching with pitching them or voluntarily asking them or uh, sending them brochures and sending them details of our new products and keep interacting with them okay keep them indulged in our product so that whenever the uh, we get the opportunity so we can always uh, again get in touch with them okay so if they are interested in any, any of the products okay so crm tools help to maintain relationship with existing customers as well as it helps to generate new customers okay so that the business keeps on growing all right so once the opportunity is closed one that means the uh, payment is done shipment of the products is done so now we'll have to manage relationship with this uh, customer on our service application okay so for that we need service team so we need to have customer service team so customer service team will need service application so for that we have service application also out of box we don't need to create anything okay okay so now if you see here so we have some objects which are related to 
customer service as well as there are some additional objects which are uh, related to our sales applications okay because the cases so there are objects like cases reports and dashboards and uh, so these these uh, objects are actually related to the service application and so if any a customer who has purchased our product if they have any issues or complaints related to our product or if they need any help to install anything on the laptop or if they need any any like maybe re or uh, reconfigure any any software or if they need to renew the uh, subscription okay so in that case they will be contacting us and and our customer service will be and our customer service will be uh, contacting them back and and helping them out with their queries okay okay all right so uh uh, we can just take a look at few points related to Salesforce, like uh, enterprises. So, uh, Salesforce provides enterprise quality applications, and uh, you can also uh, the companies can build these applications really fast. So, there are a lot of out of box applications which can be easily customized as per uh, their own uh, the company's own requirements okay so most of the functionality is drag and drop functionality so it's uh, easily customizable and without writing a lot of code okay and also salesforce also encourages uh, developers to use the customization first uh, before they go for writing the code okay so uh, it also provides easy user interface to uh, uh, customize the data model data model is the tables the objects that we see and that we have seen the opportunity objects or uh, any any other object, opportunity contact leads campaigns okay all those sales related applications and uh, service marketing all those applications data model okay that can be easily customized with click so we don't need to write uh, uh, write different objects or we don't need to create uh, json objects or those kind of objects to create such data model we just need to uh, use customization how we customize our social media application or any other how we customize our inboxes in our in our in our emails okay so similar to that we can we can just go and go to the settings and customize them we will be seeing that all right uh, now we can also if in case if you want to uh, customize something which which, which uh, normal basic customization is not uh, capable of doing then we can always use the coding part so we can all also write code which is also very easy to uh, do we don't need to install any application or anything everything is built within salesforce so it provides a developer or uh, a developer console also which 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 can easily uh, write the code okay we don't need to in install any ide like eclipse or uh, visual studio or anything okay so salesforce provides and everything is running on the cloud okay and also if if we have any other application if the company uh, wants to adapt salesforce if they already have an uh, a, a legacy application which is dealing with their pos system or which has their inventory already in a legacy system so they want to uh, integrate the data of this legacy system to the salesforce system so it can be easily achieved all right so salesforce does uh, doesn't only uh, provide options for somebody who is adapting salesforce uh, from the scratch it also helps users to migrate to salesforce step by step okay so if you are already using a legacy application be it any application so you have you will you will have data there okay so if in case if you don't want if you are not ready to switch to salesforce immediately so you can use both of them side by side you can integrate your legacy application with the salesforce application and uh, then you can once your users are ready for the change they want to migrate over to salesforce once they are educated about it then you, you can migrate your users from the legacy application to the salesforce application okay so that is why integration is provided so that this kind of transition is seamless 
okay all right and also uh, the security so you don't need to worry about the security because a salesforce is uh, belie believes in the trust so it builds trust with their users uh, so they work really hard to maintain the security the enterprise grade security that they promise all right and a lot of security features are provided which you can make your uh, org more and more strict so that none of the data can be misused okay all right and in the user interface also if you want to customize with this leading this uh, new technology like angular or uh, uh, any kind of javascript tools like angular react view you can integrate them with salesforce easily and you can develop your code there and then you uh, you want to integrate to salesforce you can easily do that because not all the time you will have salesforce developers with you okay so let's say if you are using a legacy angular application uh, then you have angular developers okay so if you there and they can also develop some new components on angular and they can put these components inside salesforce framework and it will work okay so they don't need to learn salesforce uh, user interface development first and then uh, adapt salesforce no if you are if you are you, so there are a lot of options so whenever you are ready you can just switch to uh, salesforce salesforce will help you to migrate okay all right so uh, moving to the next point so there are a lot of use cases lot of businesses are actually adapting salesforce or uh, these cloud computing technologies okay so because they there there is very less overheads there very is very less cost and everything is pay per use so as long as you keep using it you can you can pay for it okay if if you are not using some feature you can you can you don't need to pay for that feature okay so if you have limited users you don't need to pay for the whole application you can pay only for those many users so not all companies will have 100 users not all company will have 500 users okay some companies might start with 10 users 50 users so you can pay as per how many users you have and then you can uh, increase your demand as 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 you go forward So because it is so cost efficient so a lot of techno a lot of domains have, are starting to adapt salesforce so insurance domain <coughs> so uh, any vehicle that you own uh, maybe a bike or a car or if you own a house or any business these days businesses are also being insured so these kind of insurance companies are adapting salesforce so their data their customer related to related data for example for a bike insurance company we we uh, if we own a bike then we will be their customers okay so our data they will have in in their in their salesforce org so similar cycle will will uh, run from there so if we contact any any company insurance company for our bike insurance if you want to renew it so that will go to their marketing application provided by salesforce and once uh, they provide the details related to their their insurance policies so we can go through them and then we can uh, get back to them saying that we want so and so policy so now it will go to sales uh, sales application okay and then similarly if if uh, next year if our insurance is going to be lapsed so they will contact us back using the customer service application okay and they will ask us to renew it okay so similar to that uh bike insurance or other insurance company also works and they they are uh, adapting to salesforce now educational institutes also are using salesforce so how educational institutes are using salesforce is they will have sign up uh, websites where uh, where the parents of the students or the student themselves can go and they sign up for different different types of courses now these courses once they enter the information related to uh, their phone number and their in uh, their area of interest so this information will in the back end go to salesforce and it will go and sit inside the contacts table or a lead table okay and now the sales rep of that educational institute their uh, their primary contact their help desk they will they will take those information from the salesforce and then they will uh, inquire about uh, to these customers asking for what course are you interested in okay then we will respond accordingly that uh, my son or daughter or my uh, i am looking for such and such courses okay a similar cycle will will uh, go on so now it will be moved over to 
sales departments one sales department uh, 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 we we make the payment and then they enroll us with the courses and then then we will be become their customers so uh, ultimately so educational institutions also have customers so the students or the st uh, students parents whoever is paying so they are they are actually their customers okay so to manage the relationship with the customer so we need a crm tool and so salesforce okay similar uh, similar to that real estate also so real estate also follows the so most of the businesses actually follow this kind of structure so from campaign to sales and then sales to customer service okay so this cycle keeps on going so real estate companies also are are, are using this application because not all real estate companies are very very huge so a lot of small brokers small uh, uh, companies with limited number of brokers and limited number of resources they are they are adapting salesforce and and they are getting started immediately okay because they will not be like very very uh, tech savvy so they will not uh, be developers or they will not be engineers who will be uh, creating these solutions so they can easily adapt to uh, salesforce and which is which is providing pre built applications okay and they can start their business and health domain is also uh, in in different companies uh, in different european countries are using salesforce uh, in, with the health in the health domain also okay so there might be some uh, customization related to it also uh, so salesforce can be customized to uh, have diagnostic data diagnosis uh, data and uh, customer is all anyways the central part of salesforce so customers will be present anyways so now other than that medical terms so those kind of information can be uh, entered in the salesforce by customizing the tables okay all right so and also it's it's very a uh, good career option to start with because there's not a lot uh, not a lot of programming background is required uh, anyways and uh, every student in first year they they do some kind of uh, basic coding if, if, even if you know if you, even if you don't know that then you, you can still start with salesforce okay so salesforce is designed actually to build native applications okay which run on salesforce that's why they have called it as native applications so native applications are the ones which run on salesforce okay not like a web application okay or managing the platform without having programming knowledge so not a lot of business people have programming uh, background right so they have difficulty in adapting to technology okay so salesforce has uh, reduced that barrier by uh, uh, making most of the most of the customization possible using the no programming part okay so just by using the web interface and declarative application framework all right so that's why it is easier for to adapt to job seekers also okay or or uh, people who want to get into the it industry all right so there are different paths that you can follow if you are dreaming to get into salesforce technology then there are different paths you can become the the primary one is you can become the salesforce administrator you can be a salesforce uh, declarative developer you can be a business analyst or a salesforce architect as well okay administrator is the one who manages the salesforce org okay so for example i have a salesforce org let's say if i own a small business company who manufactures laptops okay so i will hire some technic technical uh, person okay to manage my application which which means to manage my users how many uh, customer sale uh, customer uh, support team members i have so they will have different access so they, the customer service team will have access to only to the service application they will not have access to the sales application okay because sales application is the part of the sales team so different uh, team members will have different application access they will have different uh, objects access they will have different uh, field access not all the uh, sales rep will have access to the opportunity which has revenue related information okay because that is that is uh, they don't need it actually so they might misuse it okay so to manage all those access to manage the user accounts uh, to manage all these uh, customization we need to have an administrator okay so you can become a salesforce administrator and uh, you can also become declarative developer for salesforce uh, so salesforce provide lots of customizable features and also productive tools which for example to help my sales representatives so let's say if they have uh, everyday tasks to send some emails related to uh, some cases that were assigned so there will be a dispatcher 
who uh, takes the list of cases every day and then uh, dispatches to different team members okay so those kind of activities daily activities can be customized and automated okay so that nobody has to so so one resource will be free now he doesn't need to spend one hour or two hour to dispatch the cases so these kind of activities can be automated uses using different uh, business processes that can be uh, accessed using the setup okay so you can become a declarative developer who can uh, define these processes in the salesforce org so you can you can create uh, business rules you can create workflow you can create process builders you can have different kind of uh, uh, validation rules okay so you can you can customize these things and you can provide business solution to these people so you can become declarative developer also okay now other than this you can also become a business analyst all right so business analyst actually deals with uh, reports and charts and dashboards so they de they analyze the business and help these businesses to grow more and more so they analyze the data okay so business salesforce provides us uh, reporting and dashboard tools okay so there are a lot of reporting uh, reporting is possible so business uh, business analyst can actually access these reports they can build reports for these companies to showcase uh, what is actually happening and what is about to happen in the future so how their business is going and what all uh, steps they can adapt to uh, to increase their business okay how to get more customers so those kind of analysis is possible using the reports and dashboards which is provided by salesforce so they, you can they can run different reports scheduled reports okay so business analysts actually do analyze the data and then help businesses to uh, take the best step which is for their business okay so you can also learn how to use salesforce so that you can become a business analyst okay all right now also you can become a salesforce architect okay so let's say if, if some kind of company is some company wants to adapt salesforce like they are already using some kind of software they're using uh, their own built uh, web application based on some kind of java backend or maybe angular frontend okay and they have sql and other other kind of technologies okay now they are uh, they are maybe running low on the budget so they don't uh, they are not it's not possible for them to hire so many developers so they want to adapt something uh, to something which is simpler and which needs less resources and less infrastructure so they want to switch over to salesforce so they are they they will look for architect or salesforce solution providers who can help these businesses to migrate to salesforce okay so they will have knowledge related to different integration tools and uh, different features provided by salesforce and how they can uh, adapt this uh, company's business to salesforce or how they can customize salesforce how they can uh, on on a wider scale okay not on a very field level or object level or application level so how they can uh, manage the whole landscape of their business and customize salesforce and how you utilize salesforce to the maximum so that it will help this business okay so that is the function of a salesforce architect so you can also become that so once you are experienced with salesforce administrator or developer then you can uh, move over or you can you can go to architect role also okay all right so these are different different codes and, and these these paths they don't need any kind of coding background at all to start with all right okay and how do we sign up for a salesforce developer org so this developer org is specifically for learning purpose so you can easily go to this website uh, develop developer.salesforce.com slash sign up and you can sign up for a lifetime free license of a salesforce learning org which is like this okay it will look like this so you can go to this website developer.salesforce.com slash sign up you'll get a form which is on the right side and you will have to just enter your first name last name email address for validation company you can put any company name if you're a student you can put that and uh, what country and postal code and other things okay very basic form and then once you sign up you will uh, ask to validate your email address for uh, login purpose and other things okay then you will get a, a org which is which will already have these applications sales application service marketing all these applications will be already present okay and you can 
uh, customize it as per your uh, just uh, preference you can play around and you can learn from it okay and yeah, also it is a lifetime free license you don't need to pay for it ever with almost all the features provided to you for free okay and also it cannot be used for commercial purpose uh, it's, it's just for a learning purpose all right so uh, also salesforce works a lot and a lot to uh, provide assistance to all the developers or admins so that it can help as much as possible and train people about their application salesforce okay and that is also for free all these resources are for free you don't need to pay for it okay the only thing you need to pay for is is for you know, the license the paid licenses okay all right so you can go to trailhead.salesforce.com and you can uh, you can create an account uh, so if you have already signed up for uh, salesforce org uh, if you have already signed up for this you will get a trailhead account okay so you can just go to trailhead.salesforce.com and you land at the, and you will be able to log in you will have a profile and your profile will have all the learning things that you uh, are either pursuing or or you need to or they will suggest also okay they will give recommendation that you can go for these courses all these paths learning paths are for free so they have created very beautiful interfaces and which are very very user friendly and easy to use easy to learn step by step guides okay with beautiful animation beautiful uh, uh, pictures of the uh, of the interface and it will have exercises it will have quizzes so all these things are for free okay and and they have put so much effort to and to, to make it as easy to learn as possible okay so for example uh, if if you want to learn something so you can go to this learn this tab and you can just go to any modules you can just switch to modules okay so in this learn tab if you see it's loading so you can learn either uh, some specific module you can you you will have uh, access to some basic projects that can, that you can go to okay so there will be different modules so you can go to so if you if you want to become a user a ui developer for salesforce you can go to visual force then if you want to become a lightning developer so there are lots of career paths are there okay and if if let's say okay so uh everything is uh, structured here so you can easily access this okay so let's take a look at any of the trailheads and let's uh, see how you can proceed so once you have the trailhead account you can go to learn and then you could go to trails this is the first step you can go to trails okay and you will here you will find the beginner trails okay so where from where you can start with so you will have beginner admin beginner or intermediate admin and then advanced admin so uh, you can go for you can check your level also from here like begin beginner advanced intermediate you can click on these and you can uh, you'll 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 you can filter the courses accordingly so if you want to become an admin and, and if you are a beginner you can go to this course and here you will have sub modules which will show you step by step learning process so you can you can go to salesforce uh, platform basics or you can go to data modeling so if i go to data modeling here so again it will have some modules so here i have three modules so it is going to tell me how to understand uh, uh, about custom and standard objects how to create object relationships and the schema okay which is the model so if you open any of this so it's given that it will take 15 minutes okay so you can easily just uh, browse through this and it will show you what it will look like and uh, the analogy like uh, the tables can be associated or related to the tables in excel okay so this is a user interface provided by salesforce and this is the similar uh, backend provided by uh, excel okay so similar uh, thing but it's it's better okay and you can just browse through you can read through and at the bottom you will also have questions you will also have questions i have already taken that so you will have questions here which you can uh, submit and you will get points okay so you get points and the points will keep on stacking and uh, it will your 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 profile will keep on building 
okay so this is actually building a digital profile for you so this digital profile can also be used to apply for jobs within salesforce environment and these days some companies are also uh, uh, acknowledging this uh, trailhead for salesforce developers definitely okay so trailhead is very 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 useful platform or a useful tool for free which you can use to learn salesforce okay so everything that i know so far i've when i adapted to salesforce i learned from trailhead and other developer documentations provided by salesforce for free so if you you don't need to pay at all if you want to learn if you have that urge to learn salesforce you can learn it easily for free if you have internet connection then you can access it okay and you don't need any license or any kind of payment for this okay so trailhead.salesforce.com and before that developer.salesforce.com you can go to these sites and you can sign up for your trailhead accounts and developer accounts okay all right so so what all knowledge you can uh, gain from this is you can uh, gain all the knowledge that is pr uh, present in the salesforce for every part of salesforce they have provided documentation okay so the basic things are about the salesforce platform basics data modeling uh, and management and uh, uh, then lightning experience reports and dashboards so about formulas validation we can take a look about all these things from the trailhead okay so if we go back to the admin beginners so here we have different part uh, which which are supposed to be learned by uh, somebody who wants to become a salesforce admin so in the beginner you have uh, platform basics so it will tell you about uh, what salesforce platform is about how it is structured uh, all those things it will tell you about and also show you how to navigate through salesforce okay then you it will give you data modeling so you can see what all things are present so here you have uh, custom objects standard objects and all the technicalities here then data management how you can in uh, import export data so it is also giving you the time or the effort that is required then how do you customize the lightning experience or the application so you will have different uh, modules you can go through each of them and it will tell you how to customize also okay then reports and dashboard module is also present it will tell you about everything about the reports okay so once you are done with the admin the salesforce admin you can just go back here to your trails okay and you can look look for so once you're done with the admin part you can go to the uh, sorry beginner part then you can go for the advanced or maybe intermediate you can go to intermediate so you can click on this the intermediate filter here and you'll get all the courses related to intermediate so if you can also filter from here if you're looking only for admin you can switch click to admin so it will give you only admin and only the intermediate related to the admin okay so you get admin intermediate you can click on this and you'll get different parts okay so you have formulas and validations so there, there can be a lot on a uh, lots of data saved in the salesforce org so def you definitely need validation for that because the users uh, should be able to save data only when the data is proper so they cannot save incomplete data or which is not in proper formats for example if they are saving email addresses so it should be a proper email it okay it cannot be just any text or if they are saving phone numbers then it's it's supposed to be a number okay so the such kind of validations you can, is possible so you can also create some custom validation based on your company's requirements you can create formula fields so you can define business rules based on the formulas and validations okay so this module talks about that and also data security so in order to keep your data safe sometimes from outsiders sometimes from your own company users Oh, from your own company workers okay so they should not be able to compromise the data okay so they should be provided access to only the data that is required for them to work okay so in order to manage access to your org manage access to the objects objects like opportunities accounts or any custom objects that that you have created or to access to the fields access to each of the each of the records each of the contacts okay so all this is provided in this so you can you can just go through this and it will give you the basics of everything 
okay now it will it will just get you started now once you get started from there you can keep on climbing the stairs all right so you can also manage the pick list and uh, salesforce flows it it helps to provide uh, create business rules like for example if if uh, if you your sales rep has to provide a discount to the customers okay and if it's a heavy discount then the discount needs to have an approval from some higher authority in the company right so that kind of business rule or that kind of approval is can be easily created from the salesforce business approvals okay other than that you also have a business a process builder which helps define the process of the business for example if it's a sales process then it should start with uh, for example sending quotation then second step should be like contacting the customer with uh, discounts and then sending them uh, product details step by step you can define your whole business process okay and you can also automate a lot of business in order to uh, make your users or make your uh, sales reps or different team uh, more productive so that they don't need to spend a lot of time uh, manipulating the data a lot of time entering the data so all those things will be automated so that they will be free to do more and more business for you okay they will have more time so that you can automate all the repetitive process all right okay now then app exchange is also uh, there app exchange is like a like a uh, uh, play store from where you can purchase different kind of uh, products that are created by developers so different tools you can create and uh, you can you can actually purchase and you can integrate in your salesforce application all right and salesforce also has a mobile application which can be used so once you're done with this you can go back to the trailhead and then you can switch to the same if you're if you're working on the admin role you can switch to admin and then you can go to advanced okay so it will give you the admin advance so you have to progress in that way if, if you want to become a, a developer so you have a developer as well from, from here you can just uh, go to a developer and you can choose the role of a developer and then you can go for that so if you if you are a developer so you can click on the developer and if you are starting now so you can go for beginner and it will filter out the courses that you need to learn so you can start from the beginner okay and it will give you the whole path that you have to follow it's just a click you need to read through you need to exercise those problems and you should be uh, learning step by step okay it's a very useful tool okay so all these things you can learn from that okay so if you want to get started to become a salesforce admin you can sign up you can there are different official websites also for salesforce admin specifically for admin so you can go to admin.salesforce.com or uh, there there you can you can also listen to their pod, podcast so salesforce also create podcast that you can listen to okay while you're doing something else okay so that you you can uh, keep listening and you it will hit your brain so you have trailhead.com also which will provide step by step uh, training material so you have certification exams also that you can take once you're ready you can get certified and and that will be like a uh, uh, certification on your resume you can enter it you can save it there so that the recruiters will uh, will be readily uh, looking for your resume okay and you can also find jobs in the salesforce ecosystem you, you based on your trailhead profile your digital profile okay so there are different different salesforce platform um, salesforce uh, uh, courses or salesforce tools that you need to learn so that this i have already shown you in the trailhead so you can go through all these parts and you can reports and dashboards so all these things you will be able to find in the trailhead okay so how to use data security so everything you'll be able to find there all right so you can also if you, if you want you can take a look at the salesforce developer also if you have very very basic knowledge about uh, about development like uh, some basic loops or basic uh, if else statements or conditional statements or some some kind of assignment operators if you know about those variables constants basic uh, classes or methods you can actually also inspire to become a salesforce developer so that also you can go to the salesforce trailhead and you can go to you can learn okay 
so for developer also you need to learn the platform basics and data modeling all these things are required for developers as well now other than this you also need to learn about apex if you want to become the salesforce developer so apex is very similar to uh, java so the syntax is pretty much the same okay so they have given uh, about everything they have written so you can go through this and you can learn from it okay so if you go through the code they, it's it's like a simple 10 lines code so you can go through these code and you can practice it also because they have already given you a salesforce developer org for free so you can go to your developer org and you can write these code as well okay all right so that's all from my end so i would really really recommend that you uh, it doesn't cost you anything so you can go to the resources provided by salesforce you can go to the links that i told you about so there are two links that you can begin with developer.salesforce.com slash sign up you can sign up for your free license and which you can use to learn for free and also you can go to trailhead which is a very uh, good material that you can use to learn salesforce all right thank you so much for your time and good luck